What's up, Moss awesome YouTubers? Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys. And today is going to be a special video because one, it is my first video of 2018. So I want to wish you all a happy new year and happy 2018. Um, expect some great videos from me coming up this year. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of stuff uh, and I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video. Uh, this is also going to be a Blu-ray update, um, also showing you some of the stuff I got for Christmas, some other pickups, and some dre some dreads, some trades I've done with my buddy uh, Pat, which who I've talked to uh, before uh, through videos. I've talked about him. We do trades off and on uh, for the past two years. So I got some stuff from him through the last few trades that we've done that I haven't shown off yet. So I'm uh, gonna do a Blu-ray update. But first, I do want to thank everybody for their love and support because I recently hit nine years on making YouTube videos. Um, hard to believe it's been nine years, but it has been an amazing nine years of my life. Um, I know I don't make as make videos as much as I used to, but I still love making videos when I can. I love watching videos. I love commenting. Um, I love this YouTube movie community that we have here. Um, I've met a lot of amazing friends, best friends, best bros. Um, I've met new friends, I've met old friends through the nine years here on YouTube. And for me, it is amazing. And I am truly grateful for you all. I love you all. Thank you once again for your love and support through the nine years of me making YouTube videos. You know, YouTube, uh, for me, it's just a fun place where I can go and watch videos like a lot of you guys make videos. And I also love YouTube because uh, I've had a lot of new chapters come into my life the past nine years. And I've shared it with a lot of you guys. Um, you know, I've moved to a different place, uh, which was about seven years ago. So it's not, you know, soon, but, or, you know, it hasn't been too soon, but. You know, when I started making videos, I lived in Arkansas, and now I'm living in Kentucky again, and I moved about seven years ago here. So that's amazing. Um, that's been a journey. And also the biggest thing for me was coming out as being gay and telling you all um, firsthand that, you know, I made a video about it almost four years ago, which is crazy that's been four years but I wanted to share that with you guys because you're a part of my life and YouTube's a part of my life. And the love and support I got from that was amazing. Um, I love that. Uh, I love, like I said, the friendships I've built, the best friends I've built. I've met um, some of my friends uh, that I met on YouTube um, in real life, um, rather it be conventions or moving to Kentucky. Um, it's been an amazing journey. And I want to thank you all so much for, like I said, the nine years I've been making YouTube videos. And I'm not going to promise, but I want to keep going on and I want to hit the 10 year mark next year or this year. At the end of this year, which will be December 29th or 28th, it'll be 10 years. Uh, December 28th or 29th of last year was nine years. Let's see if I can make it 10, which... I'm definitely going to make it 10, but that is going to be my goal. And then from there on, we're going to see what happens. So uh, thank you all for your love and support. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop rambling. I say that a lot, you know, love and support, but I really mean it. Thank you, guys. Uh, but we're going to get started with this update, and then I'll briefly talk about what I want to do this year when it comes to my YouTube channel and my YouTube content. So uh, starting here, the first five are going to be Trades that I've done with my buddy Pat, like I mentioned, we do a lot of trades together. He's an awesome guy. I send him stuff that he can't get, and he sends me stuff. So for me, it's awesome, and I just I have a blast doing this with Pat. So thank you, Pat, for these. Um, these are the last few trades that we've done. Um, I just I don't think I've shown any of these off yet, and I'm gonna go through all these movies I'm gonna talk about pretty quick. So. Like I said, the first six are going to be stuff that I got from Pat. So recently he sent me Atomic Blonde, which I have seen this movie. It was a great movie from last year uh, in my top 20 favorite movies. I really enjoyed that. And then he sent me Valerian. 
and The City of a Thousand Planets, which I've yet to watch. I've heard mixed things about it. Um, visually, it looks really nice, uh, so I can't wait to check out the visuals. And I like some of the director's work, you know. I haven't seen all of it, but I have seen some of his work, and I really dig what he has to bring out. But uh, yeah, looking forward to watching that. The next two are two of my favorite vampire movies. One is really popular. To me, I think the other one's a little bit underrated. Not a lot of people like it. But the first one's Interview with the Vampire, which if you've never seen Interview with the Vampire, definitely check it out. Uh, love that movie. It's a popular one. Uh, the unpopular one, in my opinion, and one I think is underrated that I personally love, and that is, I would say it's sequel Queen of the Damned. So... The only connection these have is the character of Lestat. But uh, yeah, I love Queen of the Damned. I think it's a great movie. Uh, I know a lot of people don't really care for it, but I do love it. Uh, this next one he sent me along with Interview with the Vampire and Queen of the Damned is a movie I've yet to watch, but I've heard interesting things, but great things about it, and that is Enemy with Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm a big fan of Denise Del Neuve. Hopefully I said his name right. Um, I love his work. Uh, Sicario, not so much, but I think it's okay. His other work, like Arrival, Prisoners, and Blade Runner 2049, I absolutely love. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Like I said, I've heard interesting but great things about it. So, Enemy, and I love Jake Gyllenhaal. And then the last thing he sent me in a trade uh, was a while back, but I don't think I've shown this off yet, and that is Evita with Madonna and, and, and Madonna and Antonio Banderas. I've yet to watch this. I've never seen this movie, uh, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. It goes with my Madonna collection. I am a huge Madonna fan, movies and music-wise. So for me, this is awesome to add. So thank you, Pat, for these, buddy. I really appreciate those Blu-rays. I love doing trades with you. You rock. Uh, going on, uh, this is just going to be a mix of things that I picked up within the last almost two months. I haven't done an update in a while. And most of this stuff is Christmas, so I'll mention what's Christmas and what's not. And I, I have a lot of horror movie Blu-rays that I'm going to show at the end. Uh, the first one I got as part of some Christmas money that I had and got this for $9.99 at work. Uh, no one really talks about this movie from last year, but I think it's great. And that is Logan Lucky. Uh, this will probably make my top 20 favorite movies of last year. If you've never seen it, definitely check it out. Great movie. Uh, like I said, I got that for $9.99 at work. Um, real quick, I got two 4K movies that I don't have a 4K player yet, but these were the only ways that I can find these newer editions on Blu-ray. So it's a DVD, or no, it's a 4K Blu-ray and Blu-ray combo pack. Uh, the first one is Jumanji, which I love this movie. I grew up with it. Watched it recently. I still think it's a great movie, but some of the effects are outdated. I've seen the new one. I absolutely love it. Give it a shot. Do not judge it before you see it. It is an awesome movie. But the first film is great, so I had to buy that one. I didn't own it on Blu-ray, and I didn't own it on DVD. The last thing I had of that movie was a VHS copy. Uh, this next one is was a must for me to buy at the end of December, and that is Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I saw this in theaters back in September or October, and I absolutely loved it. So for me, this was one I had to buy, and it comes with a lot of great bonus features, including a new documentary, which is awesome, and three different versions of the movie, so fantastic. Uh, this next one is mixed by people, actually a lot of people hate this movie, and a lot of people probably won't watch this because of the director. I'm not a fan of the director at all. I love the series, but I am not a fan of the director. I'm just going to say that right now. But I do love the first two movies, and I watched this last month, and I really liked it. I saw it on Sci-Fi, and that is Jeepers Creepers 3. Despite the director and me hating him, I, I really enjoy this series. I watched the first two when I was younger, and I loved them. You know, for me, those were like VHS uh, rewatches over and over and over again. And the third one I actually really liked. I know this movie got a lot of hate, and like I said, a lot of people probably never saw this movie. But I really liked it. You know, it's not great. I think it's pretty good. I think it could have been better. But for the budget that this movie had, I, you know, I really liked it. So I'm not one that hated it. Uh, this next one 
just came out yesterday and I've seen this movie three times. I think it's a modern masterpiece in my opinion and that is it. Uh, my second favorite movie of 2017 after Wonder Woman. Love this movie. Uh, just fantastic. Every time I watch this movie, I still have the same feelings when I finish it. And that is, I love it. And like I said, for me, I consider it to be a modern masterpiece. So, love it. Awesome movie. Uh, this next one I've yet to watch, but it was $7.99 at work, so I had to pick it up. Uh, has an actor in this movie that I lost respect for, but it has a lot of other great actors, and I've heard nothing but good things about it. And that's Baby Driver. Yet to watch it. I know this is on a lot of people's top five, top ten lists of last year. I'm a big Ansel fan. Uh, Ansel Egort. Hopefully I said his name right. Love him. I think he's gorgeous. Um, Kevin Spacey's in this. Like I said, I'm not a fan of him very much anymore. I think he's a great actor. As a person, I do have problems with him. Um, but great, uh, uh, like I said, great actor. He's great in movies. Um... I kind of had a mind funk right there. But uh, yeah, I've yet to see this movie yet. Gonna check it out soon. Gonna keep going on. But yeah, Baby Driver. Pick that one up for $7.99. Uh, these next two are part of a series. This one I got for $6.99 at Walmart. And that is Pirates of the Caribbean at the World's End. Um, which, you know, I think it's a pretty good movie in the series. I like the movie. I definitely do. I think the first two movies are the best. Definitely the first one being the better one. But I do like this movie for what it is, so I picked that one up for $6.99, brand new. And surprisingly, I really liked this sequel a lot, and a lot of people didn't like it. And that is Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell, No Tales, which that is a tongue twister of a title. Um, yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean, this new one. I don't own the fourth one. I've been debating on getting it again, just because I am a Pirates of the... Pirates of the Caribbean fan, and even though I really don't like that one very much, if I found it pretty cheap, I might, I might pick it up. Uh, the fourth one's just meh. Uh, but the rest I enjoy, and like I said, I really like this sequel. I think it connects well with the first three movies. So even if I don't own four, I think this can be what my part four would be in this series, because it does connect really well, so... But yeah, I like the movie. I know a lot of people didn't care for that one, but I enjoyed it. Uh, the next two are, are the next three, I say, are Christmas. some of my Christmas presents that I got. The first one being War of the Planet of the Apes, which I haven't seen the whole thing. I saw bits and pieces at work, and what I saw I really liked, so I'm looking forward to uh, checking out this whole thing. I'm a big new, I'm a big fan of the new Planet of the Apes movies. I never really got into the original films, even though the first one, the original film's considered a classic. I've never really seen it, so I gotta watch it. Uh, the Mark Wahlberg, Stephen, Steve Burton, Planet of the Apes, I thought was pretty good. Don't own it, though. But the, uh, the newest ones, uh, starting with Rise, I've really enjoyed that series overall. So I'm looking forward to seeing its end with this film, so... Uh, in my opinion, I think it's going to be a great tri great tri trilogy anyway, so I can talk. See, this is what happens when you don't make videos. Uh, but yeah, War of the Planet of the Apes. There's going to be mess-ups in here. I don't edit my videos, so you guys know that. Uh, the next one is Dunkirk, which I thought was a great movie from last year. Didn't make my top 10, but I'd probably say definitely in my top 15. Great Christopher Nolan movie. Uh, this one that I got is the only Criterion I got for Christmas, but I am a fan of the first two seasons. Did not like the revival very much. I need to finish it, but I got bored with it, which was a big letdown because it was like one of my most anticipated things of last year. But I really enjoy the movie, and that is Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. Picked up, or I got the Criterion Blu-ray for Christmas. So, love the first two seasons, especially the first season. And I really like uh, Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me. So happy to own that. Uh, really cool edition of the movie. I'm not going to open it up because I think a lot of people have seen it already. But uh, yeah, the revival, like I said, I got bored with it. I got to finish it, but I didn't really like a lot of the direction it went. And I've heard about the big reveal at the end, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, going into some horror movie titles, some other ones. I showed off some other uh, horror movies. But the rest are 
hands down, horror movie Blu-rays. Uh, this one I picked up maybe about two months ago and I've yet to uh, show it off, and that is Animeville Awakening. Uh, I really like this movie. I know a lot of people did not like this, and this was like on the shelf for like three years before it finally got a release, but I really liked it a lot, so I picked that one up. Got it for like $13.98 at Walmart. Uh, the next, I'd say, four are going to be Scream Factory titles, and so far I'm up to date. I do want to get uh, Drag Me to Hell and The Strangers when they come out, and The Gate 2. But I'm up to date so far with my Scream Factory titles. I don't collect all of Scream Factory stuff. Only things I really like or love or really enjoy. Um, I don't pick everything up. But this one I absolutely love. And that is The Evictors. Definitely check it out if you've never seen it. I don't think a lot of people talk about this movie. Uh, it's the director of the, the original Town the Dreaded Sundown. And in my opinion, I like this better than that. Uh, it also stars Jessica Harper and Michael Parks, who are very well known. I'm a big Jessica Harper fan, Suspiria, uh, Phantom of the Paradise, I love those movies, and this is up there with one of her best. Uh, then the next one is one I've yet to watch on its new Blu-ray, but I'm kind of saving it for, you know, um, the, you know, snowy, you know, when the snow falls down, and you're snowed in the house type of day, and that is Misery. So, I love this movie though. I'm looking forward to checking out the transfer of this. Like I said, I'm saving it though for that one good snowy day. So, Misery. Uh, the next one I actually reviewed, uh, which was my previous video, I reviewed it already, so I'm not really going to go into detail, and that is Silent Night, Deadly Night. If you've yet to pick this up, definitely pick it up. It is a must for any Silent Night, Deadly Night fan, or Scream Factory fan, so love that movie. Uh, and this next one, I'm going to do a review, uh, which is going to be a good portion of the videos I'm going to do this year, which I'll talk about. But I will be doing a review, giving you the full details on this, but that is Hell Knight. So I'm not really going to talk about it now. I'll talk about it later, though. Uh, the next one is a Vestron release, and I'm very picky when it comes to Vestron. I don't collect all their stuff, but I'm a big fan of this fun, campy 80s slasher movie, and that is Slaughter High. Yes. Finally picked this up. This came out back in October, and I just waited for the good time, and I got this for Christmas, so awesome Christmas gift. Uh, I do want to do a review on this when I watch it again, and I want to talk about the bonus features, so I'm going to wait on that. I've yet to watch it on Blu-ray yet. Uh, this next one I have seen on Blu-ray, and I really enjoy it, but I want to go back, re-watch it, and talk about it again, and that is The Hearse. And this one's from Vinegar, Vinegar, Vinegar Syndrome. Can't talk. Vinegar Syndrome. I love this company. It is one of my favorite horror movie Blu-ray companies to date. Um, what I love about this company is they release some of the most obscure horror movies that no one really talks about. Some, well, some of the horror movies are, are well known, like Mad Men or Graduation Day. But a lot of the stuff they release, like this or Witch Trap, for instance, are stuff you don't really hear people talk about too much. So I love when they release like these really cool gems. And this is one of my favorite horror movie gems. So I want to review this uh, later on and talk about it. So going to save that to talk about. Uh, this next one is going to be a Code Red release. And I got this maybe almost two months ago. It was $11.99, brand new on Blu-ray, uh, for a Code Red title, and it goes for a little bit more, and I got this on uh, Diabolic's uh, DVD's website when they were having a sale, and like I said, this was $11.99, and that is Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker, so yes. Uh, I, again, I want to do some reviews on some of this stuff, so I'm not really going to go into full detail. I love this movie though. I want to rewatch it, and when I do, I'm going to do a review. But yeah, I love this movie. If you've never seen it, try to get it. Uh, if Diabolic's website has it for $11.99 still, pick it up. I got it brand new. So yes, Code Red. Again, I'm very picky with them. I only get the stuff I absolutely want to see or love. This last thing I say best for last because I have been waiting for this release from Synapse for a very long time. They finally released it on Blu-ray at the end of December, and I had to get it. And that is Suspiria. 
Now what I love about this release is one, it's loaded with bonus features, which again, I'm going to do a review on later on this year and talk about it pretty soon actually, because I want to rewatch it on Blu-ray. I've yet to watch the transfer yet, so once I do watch the transfer, expect a review and expect full details on this, but I'm a huge Suspiria fan and I want to just do a proper review of this and talk about everything about this. Now I've watched the bonus features and I love them pretty much overall. Um, the packaging is amazing. You get this really nice slip cover over the steelbook, which is the first time Synapse has done this, uh, if I'm correct, which is amazing. And then you get the new artwork, which I absolutely love, and I'm going to cover it just a little bit. And that is the front of the steelbook. I love the artwork, but I got to cover it just a little bit. But uh, yeah, Suspiria. And then you got the back, which is amazing. And like I said, it is loaded with bonus features, so. But yeah, the last thing I want to talk about is Suspiria. Like I said, expect a full review on that coming up real soon, guys. So that is going to be my update. Uh, lots of Blu-rays to have talked about. I didn't really go into too much detail with everything because like I said, one of my big things I want to do this year is do reviews and try to do a review every week or two. Um, I am not going to be reviewing movies coming out in theaters. I think there's a lot of other great YouTubers that do it much better than I do. But when those movies come out on DVD or Blu-ray, maybe I'll do a kind of like revisit review where they've been talked about, maybe I've mentioned them, but I haven't done a really good full review on them. So I might do that. My main focus is kind of going back in the past and reviewing things that I absolutely love, um, review, um, you know, horror movie releases coming out because I love, you know, Scream Factory, Synapse, uh, Vinegar Syndrome, all these companies. I love them and I love the movies that they release, uh, the ones that I pick up. So expect reviews, guys. Expect maybe holiday reviews when like a holiday comes up. Um, I love doing that stuff. Um, expect top tens, top fives, which I'll do those every, every so often. Um, I do want to do a either top 50 or top 100 favorite horror movies. I think I might stick it, stick with top 50, top 50 favorite horror movies, which that will be coming up this year. Um, updates, you know, I'm not going to do as many. I don't, I love watching them, like I said in the beginning, and I love making them, but, you know, I think, you know, um, I, I really don't collect too many of them anymore. This is stuff that I got over the last two months that I just haven't shown. But if I do an update, I will, uh, you know, do maybe one or two a month. If I pick some stuff up, say if I get like maybe five titles, you know, kind of do a really cool detailed Blu-ray update talking about it. Like I said, that's not going to be a main focus of this year's um, our, this year's content on my channel. I love doing updates. I love watching them, but they're not going to be the main focus. Uh, reviews are going to be a main focus. Other topical videos. It's all going to be related mostly to movies and horror movie stuff. Uh, convention videos. When I go to convention, I'll probably do reviews at the end of them, give you my thoughts. Um, I'm also going to be talking about my coming out experience of being a gay man uh, in March. I think for me that's going to be important because like I said in the beginning of the video, it's going to be four years in March and it doesn't feel that. But I want to talk about that. I do want to talk about kind of my experience, what it's been like, which probably hasn't been a lot. But for me personally, my life has changed because of it. So I do want to talk about that. And like I said, I just want to... Uh, just make a lot of content for you guys. That's going to be a big thing this year, making more content. I said that last year, but I'm going to try my best. I'm not going to promise, but I am going to try my best to make more content for you guys because I love you all. I love your support. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for the nine years of support and love. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't know if I'd be making videos anymore. I love making them, but nine years is amazing for me so thank you all so much but anyway guys look forward to videos to come in 2018 updates like i said i'll do those still but not as much reviews top 10s top fives top 50 favorite horror movies i want to do that 
um, and more videos to come. So I love you all. Much love to you guys. Once again, thank you for the nine years. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys later. So as always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. In with the positive, out with the negative, and go eat some Skittles. All right, guys. Bye.